adventure begins. They were my polar pals, the penguins. Brr, it's colder than a sack of popsicles in Antarctica, you know. In fact, it's the coldest place on Earth, but penguins don't seem to mind. Now, all told, there are four different kinds of penguins that call Antarctica home. Let's see. There are Gentoos, Adelis, Chinstraps, and the biggest penguins of all, the Emperors. Penguins are birds, Samantha, but you'll never see a flock of penguins flying around. Cause ho, 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 no matter how hard they try, they just can't get off the ground. Their little wings are built for something else. Flying underwater. Yes, sir, those wings flap like flippers to shoot them through the water. When they leap out, it's called porpoising. Oh, they grab a deep breath of air, always on the lookout for killer whales so they don't become somebody's lunch. If danger gets too near, they rocket out of the water under the icy shore and slide to safety. Believe it or not, Samantha, it's even colder on land than in the water down here. So penguins rely on their black and white suits to keep them warm. Which really comes in handy when it's time to raise a family. Once those penguin chicks hatch, they'll stay close to mom and dad for warmth and food until they're ready for life on their own. Oh, I almost forgot, Samantha. Here's a penguin postcard just for you. <laughs> Penguin strut at the South Pole far away. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, it's a perfect day to waddle, waddle, flap, 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 and watch the penguins play. They waddle all around, short and fat and wide, looking for a place to sled and slip and slide. They love to dive and swim, their feathers keep them dry, but it's a fact with wings like that they'll never learn to fly. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, let's have fun. To bargaining across the snow, how's that for penguin power? Whoa! Jingle bells, jingle bells, line up in single file. Put on a tux and come with us, we're gonna make you smile. Ho, 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 ho. So, Andy, you're worried about my reindeer. Well, Mrs. Claus and I give them lots of food. But wild reindeer, or caribou as we sometimes call them, are pretty darn good at finding their own food. Together in big herds, reindeer travel hundreds of miles each year, looking for lichen and other plants to eat. This long trip is called, that's right, a migration. Along the way, their thick fur coats keep them warm. They even have fur completely covering their noses. <laughs> that way, they can shove their snouts right into the snow without freezing their nostrils off. Now, when the food at each stop is gone, it's back on the highway to the next reindeer meal. Why, before the year's over, some reindeer travel over 600 miles, farther than any other creature on land. But reindeer aren't the only animals on the go in the snow. Wild mustang and elk also migrate for a meal. But those big guys, the bison, head for a hot spot that can't be beat. Wow.
life of eat and run.